Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you five tips on taking your outfits from looking frumpy to looking fabulous in no time. I did share a video last year called Unspoken Wardrobe Essentials, and you might recognize some of the things that I'm about to mention in this video. Some of the tips might be new as well. In any case, I think that we often think as consumers, or just like style lovers and fashion lovers in general that you need an entirely new outfit to look chic and current. That is not the case at all. Sometimes it's the little things, the little tweaks that can actually have a big impact on our overall appearance. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. So the first thing that I wanted to mention today has been a complete game changer to me and I don't think I've shared this product with you guys anywhere yet. So if you're anything like me, um, when you're out doing speeches or workshops, or even if you're just doing like a speech at work, whatever it might be, and you sometimes tend to get a little bit extra hot. And I'm just keeping it real here. We're talking sweaty armpits. I think this is something many people can relate to and it's just super annoying, especially if you're wearing a top or something up here where sweaty armpits will just appear really quickly. Um, it will keep you from wearing certain items in your wardrobe, which is a total shame. So something that has been a huge game changer to me is dry wear t-shirts. So I stumbled upon these, I think a year ago, I think I saw an ad on Pinterest or something like that. And immediately I was intrigued to try out this product. I used to be a huge fan of these like sticky, disposable, no sweat pads that you could just stick into any, whatever top you were wearing. But again, those are disposable. You can't really use those over and over again. Didn't always find those to be quite effective either. So the whole idea with these dry wear t-shirts is basically the same thing as the sticky no sweat pads. You can wear these underneath any item or any top that you might be wearing and they will prevent you from getting sweaty armpits visibly anyway. It's a really nice, comfortable piece of clothing to wear underneath all of your favorite tops, especially in situations where sweaty armpits are just not welcome. So the next styling hack I wanted to mention is probably something that many of you guys already know, and it is, of course, fashion tape. So fashion tape comes in handy if you're wearing, for example, something like a wrap top and you have a bit of a gapy situation, or if you're just wearing something like a basic button-up shirt and there's like gaping between some of the buttons, you can just apply a bit of that sticky tape and keep the fabric in place which again will add up to the bigger picture. It will make you look less frumpy. It's great for traveling as well. If you have like an emergency situation with any of your clothing, you can use the sticky tape to secure things just until you're able to actually repair your clothes. So again, a really nice, simple little styling hack. So I'm sure many of you guys have stumbled upon these Razorback tops. They're a really great basic to wear underneath like an open shirt during summer or just underneath knitwear to keep you extra warm. You can wear them on their own during summer when it gets really hot. Something that's really annoying when you're wearing tops like this is straps, like bra straps. For some people, it feels comfortable to just go braless, which is perfect, then you go ahead and do that. For others, that might not be very comfortable. And so you have two different options. One is to wear, obviously, a strapless bra, if that's something that you have and that you love wearing. Another thing is investing in racer back clips. I did mention these in the Unspoken Wardrobe Essentials video that I just mentioned before. Just wanted to mention them again in case there are any newcomers here to my channel watching this video or just in case you forgot. Um, these will really be a game changer for you because you can attach them to the back of your straps, just gather them up on the back and then they will become invisible. A pair of shoes that tend to slip off your heel is super annoying, but there are actually ways to make shoes like this work. And I'm of course talking about anti-slip heel inserts. That's a long word. I'm sure again, many of you guys already know about these, but basically it's something that you can put into the back of the heel of your shoes. And these will not only make the heel area feel more comfortable, especially if it's a bit tight, if it's a pair of new shoes, for example. It will also prevent the shoes from slipping off when walking. It will allow you to feel more comfortable, and when you feel more comfortable, you also look more confident and you look less frumpy. 
The final thing I wanted to mention today is more of like a general thing when it comes to style and fashion. And it's simply to check up on the finishing of the items that you're wearing. So something like a loose thread, for example. Um, and this slips even for me sometimes, like sometimes I've watched back uh, through videos I might have filmed and I discover a little loose thread that I forgot to remove or something like that. And it just makes the overall appearance look more frumpy. So really pay attention to the single items that you're wearing. Um, I just mentioned loose threads. If you're wearing like a blazer or a trench coat, make sure to check if there's a loose thread. Maybe you need to reattach the buttons or just simply just like cut off that piece of loose thread. It could also just be a hemline that has a bit of a loose thread peeking through. Something like a fabric shaver, that's something that I've raved on about for a couple of years now as well. Even if you just have an old razor, just make sure to be careful. You can remove bubbles and like pilling from clothing, which will make it look more neat, more fresh. Um, which again will make your overall appearance less frumpy. Another thing to pay attention to is of course stains, which as a mom, I know that can be super hard sometimes. Just again, before you leave the house, make sure you check up on the, each of the individual pieces that you're wearing and have a look at the overall finishing because even though it's small details, it all adds up to the bigger picture. So I just finally wanted to mention that there's a fine line for me between something being loved and worn and then something being worn out. And I think in the means of like sustainability, we all need to be better at combining those two and making more compromises. Um, so for me, it's not a matter of your outfits and all of the pieces you have in your wardrobe to always look brand new and fresh from the box because that's unrealistic, but definitely keeping things in good shape, taking care of your clothes, paying attention, giving it the respect that it deserves, basically. Have I forgotten something? I probably have. And in that case, please make sure to leave a comment down below with your favorite styling hack. I'm sure there are many more styling hacks out there that we could all benefit from. With that, thank you all so much for watching. Really appreciate it as always. And I will see you all very soon for another video. Bye guys.